It's going to come for the wicked. Who's the primal wicked nation? The so-called white people. It's facts, man. Their history backs it up that they're the wicked. And what they're doing now still backs it up that they're the wicked. And the one and only, let's, let's put the nail on the coffin. The Bible backs it up that the so-called white man's the wicked. So I'm not, I'm not talking nonsense. Okay, I'm not being, what is it, racist. But the word, I am being racist actually. Because the word racist means to be for your own race. Okay, but whether I'm being anti-white or not, I'm stating the facts, baby boy. Okay, and you cannot not knock out facts. Go on, brother. And make it his boast that the most high is his father. Right, and make it his boast that the most high is his father. And that's that's exactly what we do. We make that's the, that's that's how you know that's the either white. That's a red man. You see his face, his face is so red and stuff like that, man. The word, the word, um, uh, what is it? Eater means rep. So that's how you know that the so-called white man is all the people who eat. Him. So there's no getting away, man. You can't say, oh, you know, I'm not an Edomite. Yes, you are Edomite. The Bible says that you will be the nation of Esau and Edom. Okay? And when you look up the word Edom on Esau, it means just that. Wasted away is he. A man with no pigmentation. Or racist people that have no pigmentation. Okay? And the word Edom means red. Go on. Um... Let us see if his words be true. Right. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Right. And let's, let, so what they're saying is, is let's just, you know what, we're going to kind of see what they're going to say. Let's see if what they're saying is true. Okay. Let's have it in our minds that, well, maybe, because they, they do. There's a part of them that don't want to believe in what we're saying, but it's also a part of them that do believe in what we're saying. But I'm gonna say this to you, you elites out there, right? Whoever you may be, whoever who's watching, you better, you better wish like hell that what we're saying is not true. Because if what we're saying is true, you are through and out of it. Okay? But whether, 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 whether you wanna wish us to be incorrect, give me that in Romans song, what is it, three? And uh, I think it's three. You know the one I want. Whether you wanna wish us to be correct or not, Hey man, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It don't matter, it doesn't make a difference. It's all of this shit right here, your enterprise is going out. In the big bang, and you set it up to be the case. Go on, brother. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Mm -hmm. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? Right, so let's just say you don't believe. If you don't believe what we're saying. That don't mean that the most high's word is gonna go without effect. And the physical is gonna it's gonna come in effect. Regardless whether you believe or you don't believe. So let's just say the elitists do not believe whatsoever in what we're saying. That don't mean this whole thing's gonna stop because a few people don't believe. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Come on, man. Yeah, you got brother. Are you crazy? For if the just man be the son of the most high, mm. he will help him. Right. And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Right, and he will deliver him from the hands of his enemies. So that's what they're thinking in their mind. If they are the just, then they're going to be delivered and we're going to be destroyed. Okay, and that's why they set these laws up. They're trying to do anything in their power to brainwash our people with nonsense. And they're doing everything in their power to subdue the sheep. That's why you got those, that's why you got these guys in our, what is it, our speaker's corner. You got them guys in America and, um, you know, Harlem, the black cushionist movement, those guys are set up to pretty much deceive Israel. Because the, the elite, they know if all Israel came in and worshiped the Lord, they would understand that the Lord would have to come. Okay? Because the elites, they know these regular so-called white people don't know. And they know that what the Jews of the Bible speaks about. The so-called black man. The so-called Negro. The so-called Latino Native American Indian. They're the Israelites. They know this. But when we say it, it's like we're talking foolish. Because we say it. All right? This is Solomon, chapter 3. I'm going to start at the top. Verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. Uh -huh. And there shall no torment touch them. Right, there shall no torment touch them. 
in the sight of the, of, of the unwise, yep. they seem to die. Right, in the sight of the unwise and the wise, the people go on. And their departure is taken for misery. Right, and their departure is taken for misery. So I think they, they go on. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. That's it, because what they don't understand, or people in general, because they're all wicked at the end of the day, what they don't understand is that, um, basically, um, is that, let's say we die for the cause of righteousness, right? We're going to receive our reward like Yahweh Shai did. When Yahweh Shai went before the cross, he automatically received his reward. So, in like manner, it's going to happen to us. Now, I'm not saying all of us know. Because you're going to have certain brothers that are going to be delivered out here. But if, let's just say, we all went the route where we had to die for this truth, it's a cash 22 situation you've already won. You've already overcame already. Now we're going to receive our reward. You know? And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the most high proved them yeah. and found them worthy for himself. Right. As gold in the furnace has he tried them. Right. And received them as a burnt offering. And received them as a burnt offering. So if, if, the, if the one of the brothers died for the word of the Lord's sake, they're going to be approved of the most high as, as, as precious stones. Okay. Good for the masses you going. Romans 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye be that ye pre present your bodies a living sacrifice. Because you gotta understand when you read the Bible, the Old and New Testament, right? When you read about what is it, John, you read about James, all of the prophets, right? They all suffered. Some of them got their heads chopped up. I believe Paul got beheaded as well. Paul was in the prison. And Paul, the prison that Paul was in, Paul was in the uh, in this dungeon. And the dungeon that he was inside of is surrounding the sewer system. So what happened was is he was in there for some time and it was cold. That's why he told his men to go get the, um, the parchments and his cloak because it was cold now. So the preppers of the Lord, when you read in the New Testament, they suffered because of the word of the Lord. They suffered for righteousness. So it's the same thing with us. We're going to go through our suffering that the Most High can have us do. Go on. They say, um, who, uh, excuse me, Hebrews 11 verse 33, yeah. who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, right, obtained promises, go on, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, yeah. escaped the edge of the sword, uh -huh. out of weakness were made strong, right, out of weakness was made strong, so we're weak right now, due to our weakness we're now becoming stronger, Gone. Works valiant in fight. Yeah. Turned to flight yeah. the armies of the aliens. Yeah. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Yeah. And others were tortured. Right, and others were tortured. So you and our certain people that are going to be laid out and destroyed out there. Okay, or they're going to go through uh, tribulation. But you're going to have the men that's going to go, the righteous men. They're going to go through tribulation, right? But in the midst of that tribulation, they're going to enter into righteousness. They're going to enter into the kingdom. That's what I wanted to say. Go on. So they say, and not accepting deliverance, go on. that they might obtain a better resurrection. That they might obtain a better resurrection. So that's what we're looking to obtain. And that's what Paul was speaking 2,000 years ago. It was called the Resurrection Doctrine. Okay? That's what it was really, when you really break it down on what Paul was teaching and what the disciples were teaching, it was all based on the Resurrection. And that's why the Lord, when He died, right, He rose back on the fourth day to symbolize the Resurrection. So being, so being that we've become awakened to this truth and this understanding because we once knew this before, what's that saying? That's saying that we've been resurrected from what the death because he was in a dead state before, and now we're being risen, now we're, right, now we're rising again. The word res means to, I believe, rise. In a, and I believe the word um, res means sting, and a, a wreck means to rise. So what are the things that's rising again? What are the spirits that are rising again back into life? It's just the word. 
going to finish off wisdom on Solomon, right? Uh, chapter 3, verse 6. As gold in the furnace has he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Because you guys, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to cut the brother because when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you that the Israelites, they all fell apart. They all fell from, from righteousness. But that's the reason why the Lord came on the scene. The Lord came on the scene to redeem the house of Israel back to the most high's good, good state. Because you got certain Muslims, they'll say, well, the reason why Muhammad came on the scene, because, um, uh, what is it? He came, he came to prepare the way, but they say, I'm roughly paraphrasing what they said. They say that, um, basically, um, the children of Israel, they didn't, they, they failed, right? They failed to, to hop into the Lord. So that way, the most, the most side made a way for everybody to be saved. That's not true. Because when you read Romans 11, let's get that. Read Romans 11, bro. And then you can, I'll let you continue on. And that's what even the Christians say the same thing. The average Christian says the same thing. But well, they don't understand either. Go on. Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? Right. God forbid. Right. God didn't cast away his people because the Most High's people was always Israel, all along. But when we read the New Testament, as Christians will have you say, have you believed that the New Testament was changed and now everybody can get a whip for the salvation? Every nation can, can, can get saved if they believe. No, it's only the Israelites that can be saved. That's it. Go on. For I also am an Israelite right. of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Right, Paul was of the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, because see, what Muslims like to say as well is that because we, we preach the Bible, right? We got to be Christians. We're not Christians. We're not the traditional Christian of the world. I mean, we're Christians in the sense of being based on what the word means. The word Christian means the anointed one. That's what I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? So on that, yeah, we are Christians because we've been anointed to what? Preach the good. The title, right? That's how, that's how it goes, man. All right? But you know what, though? What I'm going to do, but I'm going to have you see that. I'll read a couple of verses. I'll start on that side. Bring any proof of Because the Most High, oh, I think we must have love, love, all everything, the Most High is the source because of everything. Everything comes from Him. When people speak about love, violence, okay, uh, 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 what a passion, mm -hmm. uh, 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 death, okay, uh, 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 you know, anything, anything, anything that's out here, the all, the, the Most High, He's the source of it all. So if any if anything out here, if you ever see violence, violence came from the Most High, it originated from Him. So He He has the true essence. If you if you ever want to know what violence truly is about, all you gotta know is meet the judgment of the Most High because that's true violence. That's the source of all violence, the source of all love. If you ever meet a man that claims to have true love. You see a man, that man's got love right there. Check the Most High. The Most High has an undying love, okay? A love that has endured through the centuries and millennia, man, for our nation. That's, that's, the, that's the, the source of, of love, man, okay? More greater than the violence of the Most High. There's, there's no passion greater than the passion of the Most High. Because all these spirits are, 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 are branches that come from the root, which is the most high. Okay. You, you know, too, when you come to the root, you say, this is not anyway. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 19. Say unto them, thus says Yahweh. So say unto them, thus saith Yahweh. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph. I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim. Which is in the hand of Ephraim. Yeah, Ephraim, the tribe of Ephraim. And the tribes of Israel, these fellows. 
and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah. Right, so basically, the tribe of Ephraim, that was the head tribe of the northern kingdom. Okay, so basically, all the tribes are Simeon, Zebulun, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. All of them will be put with Judah. Judah um, collectively um, comprises Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which is the southern kingdom. So they're going to be put together. Go ahead. And make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And they shall be one. Okay. And the sticks whereon thou shalt write it shall be in thy hand before thine eyes. And say unto them, Thus says Yahweh, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. But whither they be gone? Whither they be gone? So this is something that's going to happen. Okay? Well, it's already happened, brother. It's already happening right now. Uh, uh, uh. The Most has raising up the tabernacle of Gawadah. Okay? The tabernacle of Marshal, basically, of Moses. Because David was Moses. Okay? And will gather them on every side. And gather them on every side. And bring them into their own land. And bring them into their own land. And so, so and, and, and we're gonna be, the Most High is going to bring us into our own land. Because right now, we're in captivity. We're in the land of our oppressors. The land of them that held us captive. Okay? We're in the land of them that has killed us by the sword. All right, and did not pity us, man. Okay, but now the Most High that brought all these curses upon us and brought all these calamities among among us is going to reverse all that and bring upon us the blessing, as the brothers are uh, reading, where we're going to be gathered together. Because as the as, the, as as the saying goes, there is strength in what numbers. Because right now we've been it made a few in number among the nations we've been scattered to. But the Most High is going to bring us together where we'll be strong and we will have laws, a government body, our own land. And in that land, there will be resources, okay? There will be, there will be uh, 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 precious uh, 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 materials, uh, substance, cattle. Because what, what is on land? On land, you have what? Cattle. You have people. So we're going to have servants or slaves. We're going to have fields that have food, okay? All manner of merchandise, man. Okay, we're gonna have uh, uh, materials to build houses. Okay, palaces. All right, we're gonna and in the land there's also rivers. There's water. Okay, wood, trees. Okay, a uh, 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 wildlife. All right. So we're gonna have we're gonna have and that's gonna be the money because we're not gonna have cash because on land cattle and gold that is money. That is riches, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna be rich on that land, okay? And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Right, because there's a scripture to say, if Satan is divided against itself, how can his house stand? So if we're divided in the nation, how the hell can we stand against our enemies and them that seek our lives? Impossible. So what the Moses is going to do is to perform a grand scheme, huh? where he's gonna gather us together where there will be no more breach and close up the breaches thereof, man. Right? But we'll be together and walk in unison and singleness of mind with Yahweh, Mashem Yahweh Shai. This is what's going to happen according to what the prophets read. Okay, this is what's going to happen in times to come. This is the gospel, the good news, okay, and the good tidings that we give unto our nation. But the problem with our nation, as you can see, where are they? Where are they? Okay, because. Exactly. Where are they? They're all in the world. The majority of our people is not um, set up to receive this, this good news, this gospel. Okay? So right now, the Mosai is focusing on his elect, his government body. Okay? He's trying to train and, 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 and rear up and nurture the minds and spirits okay, of the men of the government body to come. Alright? And one king shall be king to them all. One king shall be king to them all. Okay, which is King David. Alright? King of Malak Dawadah. Alright, he's going to be raised up again. Alright? 
and greater than the former days of old. You can read in the scriptures, the Old Testament, how great a mighty man King David was, man, and valiant and multi-talented he was, man. Well, King David in the town to come is going to be greater than that. Greater than that. Okay? Go ahead. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Exactly. We're not going to be warring anymore. We're not going to be divided anymore. Go ahead. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with idols, nor with detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. Right, so we're not going to be defiled by idols. We're not going to be lured and persuaded and enticed by the gods of other nations. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned. I will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their power. So, so wait what God was do right there, said that we will know the most has to take away that adulterous spirit from among our nation, from among us as a people. What compelled us to want to keep going among the other trees of Eden and start of being like the other trees of the garden, trying to be like like the Arabs, trying to be like the Edomites. The Most High is going to take away that self-hating spirit away from us and going to make us want to um, drink waters out of our own system. Right? All right? What do, what do I mean when I say that? I'm talking about the wisdom and knowledge that was given unto Jacob. Right? The laws and commandments and the, wis the wisdom and the precepts um, that's contained within the scriptures. Right? All right? We're going to be righteous and serve Yahweh and Yahweh Shai forever for all the days of our lives. Bro. Okay? So we're not going to be that adulterous or prostitute like nation, okay, as we've always been, even until this very day. The Most High is going to make it where we're going to have integrity and dignity. Okay? He's going to restore these things onto our nation, bro. Because it's been so long a time where we as a nation has existed on this earth without these uh, 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 characteristics, right? Because we've been so adulterous in our ways as a nation, okay? Which is why we've been brought down to this lower state where all other nations, or weaker nations, our servants, for that matter of fact, are now having us in derision, in reproach, man. But they laugh among themselves and, and they, they think that we're stupid, okay? Without, without uh, saying it to our faces, man. But the Most High is going to turn all this around, okay? The Most High is going to restore health onto our nation, man. Okay? So we have a lot to look forward to. These are not just the simple words that are memorizing out of a book. These are things that we brothers have been thinking upon, man. Okay? And this is contained within the Bible. The Most High is going to make these words come true. These words are going to speak. These words are going to be carried out into reality, all right, in the time to come, all right? It even says in the Bible how we're going to be out here in the highways and hedges. Are we not out here? And we've been out here for decades. I'm speaking about us and mainly the elders, bro. For decades they've been out here. So we're actually fulfilling what the words of the Bible are saying. So if we're doing, if we're fulfilling what the words of the Bible are saying right now, how much more the, the, uh, the scripture that is Providence written huh? about us being gathered and having our own land and having an actual king, okay? Royalty, all right? Cra royalty are uh, crowns. You're gonna picture crowns on brothers' heads, all right? We're gonna be kings, okay? And you're gonna have the chief king, the chief, uh, chief. King, okay, all right, which is going to be uh, obviously King David, and then you're going to have Yahweh Shai, all right, and we're going to be gods even at that. While we're kings, we're going to be gods, man. All right, we're going to have we're going to have actual power, man. and I'm not just talking about political power. I'm not talking about.